Thank you, Dan. Get your seat. Dan gets your bed. <laughs> now, I was going to tell you a little story that a friend of mine told up here one time. He said, he's a state trooper. And I think you can rely on what they say. He said he was called out to a wreck one night up above Abington somewhere. And said when he got there, the car was laying off to the road over the field. Wheels turned up narrow. Said there's a man laying there dead, a woman over here dead, and two kids. And he didn't know what in the world had happened. But he couldn't write up a report for that moment or something. And he said he took a flashlight and went to looking around, shining it in that car. He said there in the back seat was a chimpanzee, or a monkey, one of the two, and he said he was a very intelligent looking animal. And he thought, well, maybe I can get some clue out of that animal to let me know what happened here to this wreck like this. And all of us dead. And he said he shouted back on that chimpanzee. And he said, hey there, Andy. <laughs> was you in this car when it when he wrecked? Jim Pandy shook his head and he said, Well he said, Well what was what was this man of doing? He was talking to his wife. She said, What was this uh, man of doing just before the wreck? She said he was You drinking? Well, he, he asked at the other said, to, "Well, what was this woman doing just before the wreck?" He said well, she was standing there. The old monkey was talking, and he went. <laughs> yakking, wasn't she? Well, he said. How about these two kids just before the wreck happened? What what went on? You see what happened? He said. Well, what was they doing? He went. Was they fighting? He said, by the way, where was you at when this wreck happened? <laughs> Well, while I'm still telling tales, I'm going to tell one more. This is about a, an old man went in the bar, and the bartender said, What can I give you? He said, Give me a elbow bourbon, put two drops of water in it. And that's exactly what he done. He gave him a double shot of bourbon, put two drops of water, he just turned it up and Chug lugged it and sat around there. If you mentioned anything else I can get for him, he said, Yeah, give me another double bourbon with two drops of water in it. And the guy fixed him double shot, two drops of water, and he just turned that up and he said, He sat around a pretty good while. Anything else I can get you? I said, yeah. He said, give me a double shot of bourbon, but you just put one drop of water in it. And this old one bar keeps said, well, I'll tell you, he said, I've been a bartender for 45 years. I've never seen nobody drink like you do. He said, what gives with you anyway? He said, well, I'm an old man. I'm 60, 76 years old. And he said, he said, uh, I've learned to hold my whiskey, but he said, I can't hold my water. <laughs> <laughs>